What if I told you the numbers you use every day 0 through 9 aren't actually Western at all? The numbers you use every day, it all started in 814 AD. Arabs completely revolutionized mathematics in 814 AD by adopting something we take for granted every single day. They started using Indian numerals 0 through 9, and this decision literally changed the course of human history. Before this moment, Europeans were still struggling with Roman numerals, trying to do basic math with symbols like XVI and MCMXIV. Imagine trying to multiply XLIV by LXII. It was basically impossible for most people, which kept mathematical knowledge locked away from ordinary citizens. Roman numerals work fine for counting sheep or marking years on buildings, but they're absolutely useless for complex calculations. Meanwhile, Indian mathematicians had already figured out this elegant system centuries earlier. They created symbols for each digit, and most importantly, they invented the concept of zero as a placeholder. This was revolutionary because zero didn't just represent nothing, it represented position and value. They created these ten simple symbols, including the most important one, zero. This wasn't just about having ten digits to work with. The zero was the game changer because it allowed for place value, meaning the same digit could represent different amounts based on where you put it. But here's where it gets crazy. When al Khwarizmi and other Arab mathematicians discovered it in India. When they encountered this system during their expansion and trade, they immediately recognized its power. They adopted it, improved it, and started using it for everything from astronomy to commerce, and everything exploded began writing treatises using these numerals, making complex mathematical operations accessible for the first time. The impact was instant. Suddenly, merchants could perform intricate calculations for trade. Engineers could design more sophisticated structures. Mathematics went from being this clunky, limited tool to becoming the universal language of science and commerce. The Arabs didn't just copy these numbers, though. They refined the system, developed algebra using these numerals, and created mathematical techniques that are still taught today. They essentially became the bridge between ancient Indian mathematics and the modern world. This adoption by Arabs in 814 AD set the stage for these numerals to eventually reach Europe through trade and scholarly exchange. This number system literally changed human civilization. It enabled the scientific revolution, banking systems, and basically every mathematical advancement since.